I haven't seen Joe in days. He's got to be around here somewhere. Why people don't like this stuff. I love this stuff. Just... Joe! What? Is that Brasso? No. No, it's not. What are you doing it's... down here in the dark? It's Brasso, man. I'm... I'm ashamed. Joe, you don't have to be ashamed to use Brasso to clean your carts. Hey, look, we need to have a chat. Matt, we already did that video. Yeah. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Brasso. Joe, Brasso. I'll just f hold it. Welcome to another episode of the 8 Bit Basement. I'm Joe, this is Matt. Matt, that's really weird. Can you please stop holding that so closely to my face? Let's talk about the real elephant in the room, Brasso. So the popular opinion online and on YouTube is that this is not good for cleaning carts, as it'll ruin your console and your cart. Joe and I couldn't disagree more. If used correctly, this can be a really valuable tool. Right, Joe? Yeah! Joe. So. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let's get to the video. And we've already removed all three screws from the back of the cart, so you can open that up and pull the board out. And as you can see, this is a very, very dirty cart. Pins are incredibly dirty, both front and back. It's dirt, saliva, really who knows what else. So grab a Q-tip, you'll probably need more than one, and your Brasso. Give it a good shake, mix it all up. And grab a Q-tip. You're just gonna wanna start with a little bit of Brasso in the beginning. So just put a little dab on the end of the Q-tip. As you can see here, Grab your board and just start applying the Brasso with the Q-tip to the dirty contacts. You can give it a good scrub, especially if your cart is as dirty as this one, and you'll see right away all the dirt starting to come off those, those contacts. You can already see the difference from where we've applied the Brasso. and continue to apply it across all of the contacts. In most cases, you'll probably need a little bit more Brasso. Same small amount. And get the second half of the pins on the board here. You can see on your Q-tip all of the dirt that's being removed from the pins. It's all coming right off. And next, you're going to want to grab a clean cloth. Well, you're going to want to find a clean spot on a cloth. And you're going to begin buffing off the Brasso while removing as much of it as you can. You'll notice with this step that you're going to get even more dirt off than you did with just the Q-tip. Thank you. 
Next, grab a clean Q-tip and some contact cleaner. You can spray that right onto the Q-tip. This is another very, very important part. This is where you're going to remove the excess Brasso. Very important step. The issues begin to arise here when there is Brasso left on the board or the pins. I'm going to flip the board over, start working on the back side. We applied a little Brasso already. And we're going to speed things up for the sake of time. Here we're going to grab that contact cleaner and instead of just the Q-tip this time, we're going to spray the whole board down. It's like we said, it's very, very important to remove all of the Brasso. And here you can see a finished product, a dramatic difference from when we first started. The dirt's been removed, the contacts are shiny and clean, and most importantly, there is no Brasso left on the contacts or the board. Nothing else left to do here but throw everything back together and give it a test. Now this, this is one of my favorite games of all time. This is Kid Icarus. Joe, what are you doing? The video's not over. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, look, if you guys like Brasso, please leave a comment. If you don't, leave a comment. Um, you know, I really love, I mean, Matt and I really love Brasso, and uh, we think just the world of it. Let's get back to this game. Alright, so Kid Icarus. Uh, the character's main name is Pit. Um, he's kind of like a big kid. He's got this...